April, Batangas was hit by a series of earthquakes. Fortunately, no one was hurt. But what if a bigger earthquake had struck, causing a tsunami? Luckily for Batangueños, the BSU has come up with another invention, and it's called SIGAW, an acronym for a tsunami early warning system that could prevent the loss of countless lives. And it's proudly Batangueño made. Tsunami, anak ng lindol. No? Si Storm Surge, gawa ng bagyo. A tsunami can be devastating. It can cause worse damage than typhoons, floods, and landslides combined. Yet, tsunamis remain a vague concept to many Filipinos. Who can forget 2004 in Banda Aceh, Indonesia, when a tsunami swept away the lives of 167,000 people? Or these chilling pictures when a tsunami hit Japan in March 2011, killing more than 22,000. Within our shores, there's the 1976 tsunami which struck the Moro Gulf in Mindanao. 3,500 died, while 8,000 were never found. So what is a tsunami? A tsunami is caused by a large disturbance on the seafloor vertically displacing overlying water. Seafloor displacement can be caused by an earthquake, powerful volcanic eruption, or an underwater landslide. For years, the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or FIVOLX, has been spreading tsunami awareness. Nature ng individual yon na pag hindi madalas nararanasan, ang tendency is isang tabi muna. If we are prone to earthquake, we are also prone to tsunami. From mere awareness, they have now raised up the level to preparation. From information and tsunami hazard maps dissemination, the shake, drop, and roar campaign. To involving local government units through the choose. The Tsunami Early Warning System. Tsunami detection equipment and alerting stations are installed in critical areas. Under RA10121, kasi, lahat po ng mga LGUs ay meron sila ng operation centers. Lahat po ng mga klase ng disaster, not only for tsunami. So yun pung office na yun, ay binigyan po natin sila ng authority na magkaroon ng parang button dun lang po sa internet para pindutin po at patunugin yung kanilang mga siren. Disaster mitigation is everybody's business, including that of the private sector. At the Batanga State University, they have the solar-powered isotropic generator of acoustic wave or SIGAO. SIGAO is a network of tsunami early warning systems. It is composed of an audible warning system that is uh, connected wirelessly via GSM through a central network. May iba di bang parts yung SIGAO? So, meron siyang supply. So, siya yung solar panel and battery. Meron siyang controller. Output din yung, yung siren at saka yung beacon or yung ilaw. Assigned operators at the PDRRMO are given an account to control the sigaw. During a possible tsunami, they can get data from the FIVOLX website, assess the situation, and activate the corresponding sigaw alarm. The operator sends a signal via an encrypted SMS or call. The message is authenticated at the station. Then the corresponding alarm level 1, 2, or 3 is triggered. This can also be manually or remotely turned off. The three alert levels signifies the gravity of the tsunami each of which is reflected by the ascending cadence of sound released by the sirens. The warning sirens have an audible range of up to 500 meters. It is a game changer uh, because it is uh, locally made. This would allow us to develop, uh, to share this technology to areas na talagang mas prone pa sa tsunami. With a large chunk of its population situated in coastal areas, 
The town of Kalatagan, Batangas is very much prone to tsunami. Ang buong Kalatagan po ay binubuo ng 25 barangays at meron po kaming 19 coastal barangays na prone sa tsunami. Kalatagan is along Malila Trench and malapit po kami sa Lubang Island na active po ang Lubang Fault. As such, the PDRRMO wastes no time in preparations. They have hazard maps, disaster preparedness equipment, pertinent records and risk assessment from the national and local governments, evacuation plans, and of course, the SIGAW. Magiging handa sila at magiging aware sila na once na ang siren ng SIGAW ay tumunog, meron siyang tsunami. At the end of the day, SIGAW and CHOOSE are but instruments. Their efficiency and usability is still largely dependent on human knowledge and implementation. Kahit naman punuin natin ng siren bawat street ng isang community, kung hindi naman nila naiintindihan, kung wala naman silang evacuation procedure na kagayap, kanya-kanya lang din silang direksyon. Alam nyo, napakalaking bagay na yun kung alam yun ng bawat individual sa isang komunidad na prone to tsunami. More so, they are good examples of how innovations can not only transform, but more importantly, save lives. After every disaster, life goes on as we pick up the pieces. And it is important that we learn from these experiences. For Project Smart Home, Toad, and Sigao Innovators, it is about adapting using science and technology to change the game. Game Changer would like to thank New San Jose Builders Incorporated Las Casas Filipinas de Acuzar Before we go, remember Anything, any idea, anybody can be a game changer. Are you? Next week on Game Changer. Meet Dara May, the angel of Gastambide, who takes time out from her classes to teach street children right on the sidewalk. And presenting The Egg, a mobile classroom packed with computers, powered by solar panels, and can connect online from anywhere. <laughs>